kids that when we tell them their screen time is up, they can choose to stay on and finish whatever game they're playing or whatever for, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes. We, 15 minutes is like the max, but they have to do push-ups. <laughs> so we're cashing in on some payment here, huh? Good job. He had to do 90 yesterday from a vacation. So <laughs> his pecs are a little sore today, aren't they? 15 more. Oh, you got this. Well, happy, I think it's Thursday. We're back in the thick of it, yep. Hello, birds. I'm in the duck enclosure, turkey enclosure today um, because, well, I'm gonna turn this around and show you in a couple minutes, but um, it's gross in here. Like, it's all that, I was telling you last time, it's all that straw mixed with other, mixed with, you know, it's just gross. So I'm trying to get like layer after layer every day that it melts because it's melting pretty rapidly. I mean, I'm in a sweatshirt, but I'm sweating. I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off because it's beautiful. It's like 50 degrees today. So yeah, I'll give you a little overview of what has been going on in here, but you can see behind me, that's where the pigs were last year. I've just made that one of my two like bedding compost piles for now and then we'll just get the backhoe out and maybe or the our friend's tool cat or something but yeah we just we need it to be spring and we need to have it dry quickly so this is what i was talking about so this is finally earth do you see that down there yay we got down to the layer but you can see if i get down here you can see the mounds so you can see that there's still probably like a good two inches here and maybe like four inches in some places but yeah i just needed to get up this it's like ice underneath we're having like little rivers running through and it's just not it's not ideal for these guys and so i'm just gonna power through and hope that my shoulder doesn't give out or something because <laughs> this stuff is heavy it's wet and matted down and it comes off in like sheets yeah it's pretty pretty gross i'll give you a little idea all right, so like, this is the area I'm working on right now, right? So you can see how it kind of like comes up in sheets like this. So then I just have to either put it here in this pile or I have to, oh, we brought the pool in too. So they're happy ducks now. But then we also have it going on here. But it's beautiful out. I'm gonna miss the beauty of the snow, but I'm not gonna miss the rest. Till next time. This crazy cat. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> it's kind of a long way down. <laughs> it's gotten some more mudding done. These two. They make me so nervous. It's like having little kids all over again. Except these ones are a little more agile. <laughs> ah, it's hard to watch. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no! <laughs> you didn't realize you had an audience, huh? Crazy cats. <laughs> this cat. What'd you find, buddy? <laughs> Dirt and plastic. I mean, best day ever. You gonna come in and get on in this? Just got this all mudded. Ceiling. I actually cleaned these floors yesterday. Look how good they look. And now it's primer time. Target, of course, because who 
can't go to Target when there's one available. So I found these cool, I mean, they're just plastic and they've got a little tray, drip tray on the bottom, but I'm gonna try my hand at putting my sprouts in these just because it looks really cool. Um, so I put broccoli in this one so you can see they're kind of covered. Um, and then on this one, we're gonna do wheatgrass. So I'm hoping because look at how cool they look, right? With that backdrop like that, with some green, because we don't have a lot of color in the house. So, I mean, I have my little pops and things like that, but it's mostly just like neutral tones. So yeah, um, but Brandon got, well, we both were down there yesterday priming uh, the walls. So we did two coats of primer downstairs and then he finished up painting last night. So I'll take you down there right now. Okay. So you can see how everything's just very uniform now. All the white looks so good. Not sure what we're gonna do about that heater though, cause it's kind of an eyesore. But we got all of it done. I got the trim done. So now we need to do the doors, but I think that's like the last thing we're gonna be doing. Yeah, it's all kind of coming together, you guys. And then who knows where this journey will take us. But Brandon's right now um, working on a project for the bathroom. So I'll give you a little peek on that too. All right, so here's part of it. And here is what he's been working on for part of the day. Can you tell what this is gonna be? Hey, tell the pretty people, what are you building? Ooh, this is going to be a vanity top, maybe. <laughs> or it's going to go out in the dirt. <laughs> It'll be a cat it toy. <laughs> it could be up in well, you got to try everything, right? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, this is 20 bucks. You can't find cheaper building materials than that. <laughs> All right, so he's got this mesh liner he's put in between the two layers of concrete. And that will just help that everything adhere together and be strong. And Daniel is not sanding, but is just trying to vibrate around the concrete so it gets all the air pockets out. Are you having flashbacks of pouring concrete here? The stress of it? <laughs> Hurry, go. No, this is a much smaller. <laughs> yeah. You gonna get that tail phoenix? <laughs> this guy is busy. So this is our bathroom. I'll kind of show you. you kind of recognize it, right? So he took this vanity apart because he is going to make a new vanity that's going to fit in here a little bit better and has a better top. So we're in the beginning stages of that. Wanted to give you guys an idea of what is melting around here and what is still staying. So it's getting up into like the 40s and 50s every day. But here, because we're so close to the sun, it feels a lot warmer. So if the sun is out, which as you can see by this beautiful blue sky, that it's just straight sun. But look at all this melting. All the green that's coming up. I mean, this was just covered like two days ago. I could not be happier. The driveways are all clearing. And check out that beautiful view. Well, look who's out visiting today. <laughs> really? Man, female birds are so loud. Always. You're always so loud, you guys. But then I have to remember that... I'm pretty loud too, so maybe it's a maybe it's a mama thing. <laughs> you guys.
guys are crazy. <laughs> to give you an idea of how much it's melting, I mean, look at all this, but the problem is then, you see that? That is a puddle, okay? Now, we don't love it, but guess who does? These ladies. Now, I'm just wanting to get rid of all this snow, so I'm just really tempted to just like, get a shovel and start shoveling all of this out of the way so we don't have all of these dams that build up like this, but excuse me. I'm trying to talk here. Thank you. So yeah, you can see all the melting that's happening, which creates lots of mud. So I'm in the duck house again. We have to get new bedding put in, but I wanted to show you the bedding that we're using now. We're not using the straw anymore. Um, I don't know where everyone else is right now, but we can't get straw anywhere where we're living. So we have to go to the, the big box farm stores and, and just get the pre-packed bedding, which I don't love to do, but when you have 40 some birds that require some bedding, you just suck it up and do it. So I'll show you what that is. All right, so this is what we're using. I don't love it. The fine shavings, um, so when it says premium pine shavings, the fine, it's like super, super small grains. And then they also have flakes, which that's what I prefer. Um, covers more ground as far as I believe it does. Um, I don't know. I don't love this, but again, this was all they had. They were out of everything else. So I think this is just kind of the beginning of, of what we're going to be seeing in the next little while here. But um this is about two weeks. I do like this stuff because it doesn't get as wet. Um, the straw was not great uh, just because it did get super wet. Um, yeah, so this stuff actually, this is a couple, like I said, a couple weeks old. And I, I could probably let it go a little bit longer. And I might, I might see if it dries out a bit today and just have a couple more days. But it's so wet out here. I'll show you. Um, but this is all earth. I have to get some more bedding up, but yeah, you can see that pile's going down. Everything's kind of going down. So hopefully in the next few days, all of it will be gone. I got one side cleaned out. I'm not doing the other today because there's just too much to do outside, but I wanted to show you guys, look at what the snow and the ice uh, and the rain did to my poor garden boxes. So Crosby's up here with me today. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and we're just, I just had my knife out. We're cutting open all this plastic to let this water uh, go down into the garden boxes. And then I want to check on my garlic because I think I planted garlic up here last year. And yeah, we might want to plant some potatoes here coming up soon too. So once this drains and I get all the ice off, you can see all the ice that's sitting here. We got to get that all off too because it's too heavy to open. Um, but then we'll check it out. Hard at work. Got to get this guy uncovered. This is, I think, the one that has the garlic, and it's the one that's covered the most. But got all the rest of them uncovered. Oh, I don't know. Might be time to take a break. Painting day. Are you the cutest things ever? <laughs> so cute. So we just got the painting done in our room and Brandon's putting the room back together so I'll take you in there in a little bit. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute they all are laying together. Look at you little cute happy family. Aww. <laughs> you guys are too cute. Get him. <laughs> Crazy cats. Got a lot done this week. Got our bedroom finally painted, mudded and painted, and also the bathroom, which 
has been unfinished for a very long time. So it's really nice to just be finishing up these little touches. So I'll show you guys the, the rooms and also um, the bathroom vanity and all of that stuff um, because we redid all of it. So it's looking amazing. Um, the concrete turned out amazing too, the countertop. So I'll show you that next week as well. Um, but we have some big things happening this week, so stay tuned for that. And hopefully everybody's doing really well. Embracing spring, getting your seeds started. I know that's what we're doing today. And no, that's not April Fools. So hope everybody's doing well. You survived your April Fools. And with that, we'll talk soon.